Let's take a look at types of tables. There are numerous types of tables that can be created in the Oracle database. The most prominent and most important is obviously the relational table, since Oracle is a relational database. Looking at the concept schema on the right, we can see a large number of relational tables. A relational table or a relational table structure is determined by or on the basis of the relations between those tables. An object table. By definition, Oracle is an object relational database. What this means is that Oracle is a relational database including some object aspects. Practically, what you can do is, firstly, you can include certain object data types, both predefined and user-defined, into relational tables, and some PLSQL or object-oriented PLSQL code can be written and constructed. A temporary table. Many years ago, a temporary table was used to create reports. Generally, the temporary table was created, filled up with data, the report was printed, and then the temporary table was destroyed. Oracle allows the creation of a temporary table where data can be placed into that temporary table on a session basis. What this means is that you can create a single global temporary table. Multiple sessions can access that temporary table and create their own sets of data within that table. In other words, two sessions cannot see the other session's data. An index organized table. An index organized table is effectively a table organized by the index. In order to explain an index organized table properly, let's go back to what is a table and an index. Let's take, for instance, a table such as a customer table, which includes a customer name, address details, amongst other things. A multiple column table. And let's say we want to create an index on that table, namely on the customer name or a customer ID. That index would actually be a single column as a copy of one of the columns on the customer table. Internally, within the database, what you actually get is two physical files. You get a table file with the data, and then an index file with just the single column, the index. The reason why you need to do this is because searching through that physical index, which is a fraction of the size of the table, is much quicker because it's physically smaller. That's the difference between a table and an index on a physical level. What the index organized table actually does is take these two parts and stitch them together into a single table and orders the data in this table by the order of the index. A cluster. A cluster is somewhat like an index organized table, except all the index columns and the data is not stored in a single table. Additionally, what the cluster attempts to do is it takes multiple tables, in other words, a join, and joins the data in those multiple tables into a single table sequenced, organized, or ordered by the cluster index. An external table. An external table is a table stored externally to the Oracle database, such as in a flat file, not in an Oracle table, but that data is still accessible through Oracle SQL. An XML type table. An XML type table literally allows the storage of an XML document. In other words, Using facilities and procedures in Oracle, you can actually access that XML document as an XML document, not as a text file. This is an example of an XML document. This picture shows the application of an XML style sheet or template to that XML document, giving us a nice looking output. The reason why I include this is because XML is becoming very prominent and will do in the future. There are a large number of facilities and capabilities of coping with XML in Oracle. Partition tables. A partition, as we can see in the diagram, is literally a split of a single table into multiple tables placed on separate disks. Why would you need to do this? A very large table, large amounts of data. It takes a long time to search through. What you do or well, what a partition does is effectively splits that physical information into separate pieces which are much smaller. So you can execute SQL statements on individual partitions, on multiple partitions in parallel. You can also use the equivalent of what would be a Unix or a DOS move command, which is very fast, to physically rename 
and remove or re-add new parts or partitions into that partition structure. Partitions are used to increase the performance drastically on very large amounts of data.